Hey guys, so in my last video I talked about costs and stakes and really kind of skyscraping and ramping those up. Today I feel it relates to what we're talking about today, which is ramping up tri-fill cycles. Um, so basically in writing, a tri-fill cycle is the main character's attempt to resolve the story's problem. There are at least three tri-fill cycles in um, every well-written story of the structure. So often the main character will fail the first two cycles, but not always. So in Interstellar that I'm using as an example for today, the first trifail cycle is the first planet that they visit. The second trifail is the second planet that they visit. And the third trifail is a black hole. Um, a good writer wants each trifail cycle to be bigger or better than the previous one. And that's one key, one key to writing a successful story. You escalate, escalate, escalate. The writer has got to keep increasing the tension, the stakes, and the costs. Um, like I said before in the last video, Interstellar has huge stakes and costs. But the Nolans, you know, they ramp them up to the max. And all at the first planet, like all within the first planet they visit, right? The first tri fell cycle, everything's already ramped up so high. Most writers wouldn't be able to do that because if a writer starts that big in the first tri-fail cycle, he or she has to jump over the bar to do something bigger or better, more suspenseful than that. So if your story starts too big with the costs and stakes all ramped up from the get-go, then like there's nowhere for you to go, nowhere else to take your story, and that can, that can be bigger or better than what just happened. So in other words, the story's tension will all be downhill from there. But here's the thing, the Nolans are amazing writers. And they pulled this off, they pulled off what most writers, like even great writers, can't do. And they managed to still heighten the stakes and the tension, even after basically maxing it all out on the first try fail cycle. Because these guys are crazy talented. Um, when I was watching Interstellar for the first time, after Miller's Planet, you know, being a writer, I was, like, freaking out. Because I was like, okay, that's the first tri cycle? Like, where in the world are are the other two going to be? Like, what else is going to happen? Like, where the heck are the writers going to take the tension next and the conflict? Like, how do you escalate this story from that point forward when you've already started so huge? And, like, I even wondered, you know, maybe it wasn't going to escalate. and But, like... I just, I didn't know. I'm like, I couldn't conceive how it could escalate, but I'd heard like such good things about the movie that I knew the writers had to have figured something at least de decent out. But the Nolans, like they set the writing bar extremely high with the first try fail cycle. And when I like proceeded to watch them jump over it, like I was amazed. Like how, where do these guys even come from? Like their writing is amazing. And, like, they were so clever in all of it. They were so clever in jumping over the bar. They didn't try to, like, jump over it by escalating the same things, like, even more, which is, like, what a lot of beginning writers do. They didn't try to, say, like, go to another planet where one hour equals ten hours instead of seven. Like, no. They were smart because they made each tri fill cycle so different and yet just as satisfying. And by doing that, you're able to really, like, skyrocket all of them, like, to their max. So in the first tri fail cycle, the main conflict is a person versus nature conflict. As the crew has to deal with, like, these enormous waves from the huge gravitational pull of the planet being so close to the black hole. Anyway, so it's also a conflict that deals with sources, right? As time with the source. So those, both of those things get, like, maxed out in skyscrapes. Uh, the second trifill cycle, this is Man's Planet, it centers on a person versus person conflict. Um, Dr. Man versus Cooper. So yes, like nature plays a role, especially when like Cooper's suffocating, but it's not the main focus. The Nolans gave us something different and then like maxed out that com that conflict out by Dr. Man not only trying to kill Cooper, but by him stealing the ranger and blowing up the endurance, an extremely high cost. So in this tri cycle, we are facing an antagonist who can think and like scheme and act in a conscious attempt to stop the hero. And it's intense because we feel Dr. Man's desperation. And when he says while fighting Cooper that a 50% 50, 50 chance of living is the best he's had in years, we know that Dr. Man will try to survive no matter the cost. There's nothing too big or too drastic that he won't attempt. And just knowing that hikes up the tension. Then we get to like the third tri cycle, okay, with the black hole. And again, 
it feels so different from the others because Cooper is facing something completely unknown that brings its own kind of terror and wonder to it. This trifill cycle is more like scientific, but it still brings high emotional tension and high intellectual tension with it as Cooper has to watch himself walk out on Murph again and again and then figure out what is going on. So the Nolans made each trifill cycle different and then ramped them up. By doing this, they were able to take the tension way, way up and exceed audiences' expectation and keep the story from feeling long and monotonous. They were able to create like huge conflicts and were able to resolve them. So this takes like real talent. If a writer tries to create gigantic conflicts, then he or she is stuck trying to figure out how the characters are going to solve them. Sometimes the writer writes herself into a corner and has to like kind of go back and shriek the conflict to something that's easier to solve. But the Nolans, they had huge conflicts in their story and they were able to pull it all together to actually come up with a solution for them. So as an audience, I don't think we fully appreciate like the magnitude of this. But when you look at all the pieces like that at times seemed impossible to fit together like ghosts and gravity, you know, and you look at the conflicts, you'll start to glean the talent it takes to pull it all together and pull it all together so flawlessly. Like, ugh, it's just amazing. This movie is amazing, you guys. So surely I would argue that the Nolans are some of the most talented writers in Hollywood right now. Uh, that's my personal opinion because... The things that they do in the story when you break it down from a writing standpoint are just like jaw-dropping. Anyway, so think about all these things in your own writing, and I hope this has been helpful to you. You can subscribe, I'd love it if you would, or you can follow me on social media. You can get my latest writing tips at septembercfox.com. Um, I'm also doing freelance editing, I guess I should be plugging that too. You can see my editing at foxediting.com. Thank you!